we are given the quadratic equation x square minus x plus p is equal to 0 whose roots are alpha and beta. Therefore, the sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to 1 and the product of the roots alpha beta is equal to p. We are also given the quadratic equation x square minus 4x plus q is equal to 0 whose roots are gamma and delta. Therefore, the sum of the roots gamma plus delta is equal to 4 and the product of the roots gamma times delta is equal to q. Now we are given that alpha, beta, gamma and delta are in geometric progression. Let's assume that the common ratio of this geometric progression is equal to r. Therefore, beta is equal to alpha times r, gamma is equal to alpha times r square and delta is equal to alpha times r cube. Using this in the result alpha plus beta is equal to 1, we get alpha plus alpha r is equal to 1 which implies that alpha times in brackets 1 plus r is equal to 1. Let's call this result 1. Similarly, the equation gamma plus delta is equal to 4 becomes alpha r square plus alpha r cube is equal to 4 which implies that alpha r square times in brackets 1 plus r is equal to 4. Let's call this result 2. Now dividing result 2 by result 1, we get alpha r square times 1 plus r divided by alpha times 1 plus r is equal to 4. Alpha times 1 plus r cancels across the numerator and the denominator on the left hand side and therefore r square is equal to 4 which implies that r is equal to plus 2 or minus 2. Now consider the first case when r is equal to plus 2 therefore result 1 which is alpha times 1 plus r is equal to 1 implies that alpha times 1 plus 2 is equal to 1 which implies that alpha is equal to 1 upon 3. Therefore p which is equal to alpha beta is equal to 1 upon 3 times alpha r which is equal to 1 upon 3 times 1 upon 3 times 2 which is equal to 2 upon 9. This is not an integer as required in the problem statement and is therefore ruled out. Now consider the second case when r is equal to minus 2. In this case equation 1 which is alpha times 1 plus r is equal to 1 implies that alpha times 1 minus 2 is equal to 1 and therefore alpha is equal to minus 1 in this case. Therefore p which is equal to alpha beta which is equal to alpha times alpha r is equal to minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 2 which is equal to minus 2 and q which is equal to gamma times delta which is equal to alpha r square times alpha r cube which is equal to alpha square times r raised to the power 5 is equal to minus 1 square times minus 2 raised to the power 5 which implies that q is equal to minus 32. Therefore, the integral values of p and q are minus 2 and minus 32 respectively. 
And this is the required answer.